To the Queen Pen. We are back in the building. It's your girl Brianna B, aka your fairy hood mother. And I am here today. I have a special guest. <laughs> Let me bring him in real quick. All right. Oh, I'm in. Oh, Tim, that was great. That was a nice here? little punch in. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, pretty good. Do I have to say my? Okay, yeah, I yeah. should. All right, <laughs> my bad. It, I, I ain't been on a podcast in like a couple weeks, so I'm rusty. Uh, it's me, Tim, aka the Brokest Podcast host you ever know, aka Backhand Compliment Poppy, aka DJ Broke Boy, aka when you see me putting five dollars in my gas tank and that's it, mind your business. Okay, all right, that's it. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's what I came here for. Just you to was get in that, that off. and you was in that traffic. Oh, that. Oh my God. Okay. So how long? Okay, so how long have you been living like down here? Like it's been it's for, been a minute, right? For five years. Oh, okay, yeah. Five so years you, in November, November first. So how long does it take to like get used to the traffic? Like, at what point do you think I'd be like, you know what, this is just normal? Like, this is how niggas in LA drive. Never. Never. <laughs> do you get used to the traffic? I don't think you get used to the traffic. Re- so I gotta be like this frustrated every time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, man. basically. I mean, you know what though? When I first moved out here, I was like. I was a safe driver. Like, everybody was like, oh, you drive too safe. Like, you yeah. got to, like, cut people off and all that. And I was like, well, no, I don't want to do that because I've been in some accidents. And I'm like, yeah, I feel it. I ain't got the time. Yeah. So, but, yeah, I get, you get pretty used to it. I mean, you just got to know how to maneuver. I mean, see, that's the thing. Like, I'm used to everybody, like, maneuvering, but maneuvering with sense. I feel like here they maneuver. Like, how they was like, oh, you got to cut people off. Like, mm-hmm. I'd be really like, be like, okay, like, I really hope they, you know, pull up next to me so I can roll my window down and kind of let them know what I'm thinking. Right. Because like it's just I don't know it, I just I hate it like that's that's the bottom line it really frustrates me okay. like I don't, I don't know what to do <laughs> I don't you don't know what to do no I don't so you reposted my um my you know podcast picture okay yeah and then you put a little caption okay, what was yeah, that bet. about what did somebody oh, hit yeah. you up or what so no they didn't Not first yet, of all you got to explain you got to okay, yeah, you got to yeah, read yeah, what right. you okay, said okay yeah so. Uh, I knew I was coming to record you. First of all, thank you for letting me, you know, come through. Because of like course, I said, your boy don't have no podcast to really be going up on and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. But uh, nah, so, you know, I posted I was going to be recording with you. And I was like, look, guys, fellas, she ready to quit Hot Girl Summer, which you had, you know, alluded to earlier this week. So, you know, if y'all are interested, you know, let me let me know. So actually, <laughs> oh, I, I lied. Somebody did be like, oh, like put in a good word for me. And it was my man, Rob. So I'm putting in a good word for my nigga, Rob. Rob is a genuine. You met Rob. Do you remember Rob? Yes. Okay, yeah. So my man Rob, he a genuine dude. All right. He out here hustling. He out here working. He just had a birthday. Happy birthday to him. So that's the oh, only yes, person who Love I can, you know, put a word in for right now. Yeah, he hit me up. He hit me up. He said, um, regarding your post. Yeah. He said, I'm the only he said something like I'm the only person that should be something talk that talk Rob. there we go <laughs> see you see that's how you do it. you got to come out the gate shooting like you're the only person on the court all right don't pass that ball up don't don't be letting nobody else you know get their little defense set nah 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 right you come out there shooting i like it i like it big time i like that i like that i like that yeah but nah so he's the only one so far but i guarantee you like after i leave or like tomorrow morning it's mm-hmm. gonna be more people like oh you still like you know gonna be recording i'll be like that was yesterday you okay. missed your opportunity all right. Yeah. So how how is it like you? So you ready to give up the hot girl summer? So what what, what first of all what brought that on? What did I post? What that did I post? You you posted that you need your soulmate to quit playing because you know you you just you ready to settle down and then you was like look I'm ready to give this hot girl summer up like I'm uh, it's time. Ain't that oh yeah happened? no no it said it's it's ghetto out here it's a little ghetto. Oh out yeah, here. yeah 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 yeah. Can my soulmate please come? By the way, one of my favorite phrases ever is the ghetto. Like, oh I yeah, love it. it's so ghetto. Yeah, the I love ghetto. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i be saying that but then sometimes i'm not we was just talking about earlier me yeah. and keith was uh-huh. talking about um just the whole dating uh yeah. scene out here and it's like people not really trying to do that out here so Yo, i can so say it but that that's something that i like kind of like noticed and i have been here for a while that's super hard to date out here mm-hmm. like uh like well i've heard it more from a female perspective like the dudes ain't really like it's it's just not that that I don't even know how to really describe it because I don't, I don't talk down on men. But what I've heard is just the pickings is slim, basically. 
Like, it ain't really too much for you to really, like, get after that's worth it. Out here? Yeah. Nah. Oh, no, nah, it's always oh, a <laughs> we bunch of dudes. opposite. Really? Oh, yeah. fill me in. Okay, fill me in. Because I don't no. know. I think it's um I think it's a lot of different pickings. Like that's what makes you not wanna like settle with for nobody because it's so many different options. Like I got this person, okay. you got so many different people doing different things, so many different types of people, so many transplants, so many just anything. Like you yeah. you get a taste of pretty much everything. So I I've kinda I I can say that I, I personally agree with that mm-hmm. from a female perspective. Like I I have a girl and even I've noticed like, oh like if you know, God forbid, things go wrong, like I won't, I won't be lonely. Right. Like there, there won't ever be a day where I'll be like, oh, I'm by myself because everybody I asked said no. That, yeah. That doesn't seem to be. So like, you good happen. though, because you already in a relationship. Oh yeah, that's when you gotta get your shots. And on. y'all live together. You don't don't y'all live together? Yeah. Okay. And then she's from. She's from. We both from the back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So like we basically like grew up in the same like city and everything. So we, she moved down here first for school, and then I came down here for the work. Okay. So yeah, it, it just all worked out like that. Nice. But yeah, but that's but fellas, that's when you gotta get your shots off. When you got a girl at the crib, she already signed her name on the lease. That's when you you know you go out and you you know you explore a little bit. Wait a minute. Line. That's what you gotta do. Wait. Yeah. No. What you mean no? <laughs> what? <laughs> you not with it? Your name ain't on the lease. Oh, who name? No, 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 no. My name is on the lease. It's, oh. it's got to be. That's the only way. That, hold <laughs> on, fellas. You, that's the only way you can go out there and do what you got to do is if your name on the lease. If your name is on the lease, you, 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 you so, stuck. So, you, so describe your relationship. It's, it's a. Oh, it's committed. It's monogamous. Has, oh, yes, ma'am. Hashtag okay. black men don't cheat. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm not speaking for me. I'm speaking for, you know, I'm putting everybody else up on game okay. who, you know, might not be as, you know, fortunate to just know. Okay. You know, if your name on the lease, that kind of give you a little leeway to, you know, do what you got to do. I completely understand. And what does do what you got to do? Whatever your heart desires. Like I, I, like I've said before, we as black men, we're kings. Anything we want, anything we you know feel as though we want to accomplish, anything we feel as though we want to explore, we can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Right, I'm and you so it. serious? I'm look. I'm here for it, man. I I just want to see our black brothers doing like li- living their best life. That's the best way to put it. Okay. I want to see them. So if if for you having two wives is living your best life. Go ahead, and make it happen, man. <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> he broke up with them, by the way. Oh, for real? He not doing the two the two girls no more. No, really. I think he because he was he was describing in an interview he did or something. I should have looked. I should have like really paid yeah. attention to the story, but um, I guess they had basically was talking just talking too much, just yeah. basically just saying too much of how they felt it's about the too, situation, and I think it was like um. He asked them, or somebody asked them something. Yeah. Somebody asked the girl something, and they were like, "Yeah, of course we're here for the money. Why wouldn't we be kind of like type of thing?" Okay. And so he was like, "Nah." But, but I mean, with, with that lifestyle, like what you what you kind of expecting though when you blue face and you rap and you got you got two girlfriends? Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure the situation's gonna be a lot of the reason they there. Like, what's wrong with that? I mean, yeah, I mean. That's what I thought. I was I like, know. I mean, you can't. He had to have thought in the back of his mind yeah. that they was there for the money I a mean, little bit. Is that so? Do you think it's I a problem to be with somebody for just the bread? <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like this. No, 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 no. Okay, let me just say this. Go ahead. I don't. But I don't know. You don't know? Oh yeah. This no. Is good. This See, I, I never. I never just been with somebody for the money. Have you had but the if the situation arises, yeah, oh, you take it, and they cute, mm-hmm. you gotta be cute. If you cute enough, <laughs> Yo, okay. So this brings me know. to my next theory. Okay, so my thing is, so I got, I got a lot of theories when it comes to women. All right. Okay. First of all, one of them mostly is if you, you know, give a woman everything she needs, mm-hmm. you get more leeway to slip up. You get more leeway to do what you got to do. She'll be more likely to put up with certain things. For example, I can talk about my own relationship. I was actually telling my coworkers this today. I don't cook. That's not my forte. Oh, you don't cook at all? No. Like not, not nothing? Nothing. nothing. Not, a, not a damn thing. Oh, like, wow. Like, not, not, <laughs> not, not a... Look, how, it, are you, how are you in a relationship? Uh, What's so she gonna eat I'm, when she hungry? I'm about to explain it to you. So, <laughs> okay. like, I tell people, like, I don't cook, but, you know, whenever we need something, she handles that. Like, that's her thing. They're always, oh, my God, I can never be with a with a man who don't cook or who don't do this, who don't do that. And I'm like, okay, we gotta think about it. Okay. I'm putting in, you know, the extra effort in other areas to where this is this is minor. 
this is small to her. Like she ain't she ain't got no reason not to be like, let me chef up this, you know, kitchen. Cause guess what? When it's time for the bills to be paid, bills is paid early, right? When it's time for you know us to go out, you ain't reaching for your wallet. When it's time for you know you to go talk to your friends, you don't hear no stories about how I was in their DMs and talking with them. Nah, like mm-hmm. it's certain things where it's like, okay, well, you know, like like I tell her, you you cooking and shit, you ain't you ain't touching no trash around me. Like the okay, fuck, like you're about to be, you feel me? So like, I, but I feel like when you're a man and you kind of put your woman in that kind of situation where it's like, okay, you good at the crib, like you straight, right? You know, you could kind of you know slip up once or twice or maybe you know get some leeway in another area to where you know you'd be like, okay, well. He do treat me right in all these other areas, so mm-hmm. this ain't no need to just, you know, get up and leave. What you think? <laughs> you not rolling? You said a lot. Oh, okay. you, you said a lot right now. <laughs> you know, I was, I was. <laughs> so, but what she still going to eat she's, what, when she hungry? Whatever she want. But you ain't cooking it, though. I can't. I, I mean, it, it, okay. okay. No, I'm not. Like, it ain't, it ain't even no need to try it. Nah, I'm not. Like, okay. I, ain't, I ain't got it. I just don't have that. I don't possess that skill. Okay. Like, it's not in me. So, my mom, she just texted me. Yeah. Shout out to my mom. Hi, mom. Hey, black butterfly girl. <laughs> <laughs> she, um, so she texted me. So, about the dating somebody, well, just for the money. Yeah. So, I was in a situation, and tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Or well, what the thought stories. process should be. Yeah. So, I was in a situation to where this guy, he asked me if I would marry him. He's in the military. And so oh, he was like, oh, would you marry me? Marriage. Oh, yeah. Them niggas love marriage. <laughs> He's like, would you marry me? You know, basically for the benefits. Hell, yeah. And I'm like, and I was thinking about it hard, too. Like, yeah. I'm like, dang. But then at the same time, I'm like, oh, but what? Hmm, what does that say about me? You know, because yeah. that's basically doing that for the money yeah. at the end of the day. And then also, like, but we, so basically the situation would be, he would be where he is. I would be where I am. It would yeah. just be an agreement. We would just be married for the minute. On paper. Yeah. Yeah. But it wouldn't be no relationship. We, we're we actually just friends. We've been friends mm-hmm. for like over 10 years at this point. So it's just like, oh, we don't have any attraction to each other. At least yeah. I don't. Like, you oh, know, now, see, that was what I was going to say. Like, <laughs> I, think, I think it's kind of tricking if you ain't like mm-hmm. getting nothing out of it. Does that okay. make sense? Like, if so, let's say. He like, look, I want you to marry me and get my benefits, but I don't want to hit. I I think there's something wrong with him in that situation where it's like, okay, you. Oh, should so be- you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say you feel me? Like I'm I'm not finna because because essentially that you giving up money without getting nothing in return. And to me, that's tricking, and I don't I don't believe in that. I yeah. mean, but I guess he probably was thinking about on his end, like, dang, I'm I'm just get I'm getting paid more. I don't really care what you do. I'm gonna pay you. Oh, okay, so but I'm so getting essentially paid. he's scamming, which I understand too. But it's like you got to get more than bread out of that, though. No, he don't. Why not? Because. I, 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 I don't know. It's just, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like in those kind of situations, you got to be somebody who, who you know, get your, mm-hmm. get your money, but also make sure you're getting what you need from your, I mean, that is still your wife legally. Like, okay. I mean, why not go ahead, you know, and, you know, test them wife waters out? No. No? No. You, all right, well, <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> Shout out to you, dude, for just being able to, you know, bring that, like, bring that opportunity to you, though. Like, that's a, that takes some some. some that strong, was a very. You know, I felt like it was a very good opportunity. Yeah. Um, he. I don't know. He might listen to that. I don't know. Yeah. Like. So so when you told him no, like so because I'm, I'm I'm assuming you said no, nah, you didn't want to marry. I didn't say no. Married. Oh, what so what, what was the deal? <laughs> I actually told him. I said yeah, let's do it. That's what really? I told him initially, yeah. and then I called my mom. And she was like, she wasn't having it. She was like, uh-uh, nah. that's not the way I want you to be married. You know, I, I want you it. to have the actual real experience and be in love and all that type of stuff. And I get it. Yeah. But then I was like, essentially, it's just a scam. You know, like, you exactly have to, they scam is. us. Yeah, the government scam us all the, all the time. So why not get that money? Yeah. And so then, uh, <laughs> so then I got some input yeah. from her husband. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he was like, um... He said, well, I mean, it's a scam. He was basically saying it. Like, yeah. it's just a scam, so why not? Like, you know? Yeah. So, do you, I don't know. Do you think marriage is sacred at all? Like. I do. You do? I do. Um, I want to be, I want, I would like to be married one day. You and me both. That's um, not at the, 
I mean, it's not like really, I wasn't never one of those little girls that was like, oh my gosh, I want to be married yeah. and I want to have all of these kids and stuff. I was never like that. Mm -hmm. But I do, if the situation arises, and yeah, but I want to be married for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be married just for a ring. I want to have an actual, you know, relationship with somebody, yeah. an actual connection. Like that's my best friend was my best friend for like 10 years before we decided to get married yeah, you know like stuff it. like that i do think it's sacred and i do want to be married but it's just so hard like going back to dating out here it's like i don't even know like there's not even no <laughs> yeah. no type of runner up like i'm like really i couldn't marry none of y'all like i don't, I don't see it you know and it's, it's kind of funny you mention that because i also like i being married is like definitely like something that i would like strive to do yeah but like maybe like Maybe the past, like, couple months or something. Like, I really had it in my head of, like, you know, I think, like, my whole idea of marriage and, like, who I want to marry is changing. Like, the type of woman that I would want okay, so like, what's, as a what's, wife. What's the type of woman that you would want? Is it, wait, wait, okay. I'm, I'm going to just ask afterwards. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> but, like, as a wife, I think it's actually, like, it's changing as I get older and as I'm, like, kind of discovering more of me mm -hmm. and, like, really just being, like, okay, well... You know, if these are the things I want out of a wife, like, these are the things I got to put forth into, you know, dating or into a woman or whatever. Like, because I have a girl right now, mm -hmm. right? And so, I mean, I could I could definitely see us being married before. But maybe, like, maybe, like, before I was, like, 100% sure. But okay. now I'm realizing, like, okay, we're getting older. Like, you know, we're, like, we haven't even been together, like, that long. But it's, like, you know, like, things could definitely change. Like, I could totally see it, like, actually not working out. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's just... I don't know, for me, like, marriage is definitely something that I want to do. It's just something where I'm, like, now I'm, like, ah, I could definitely see me, like, like or both of us. I could see I could see anybody just being, like, you know what? I want to be with a different person. Mm -hmm. Like, even though you want to be married, it's, like, ah, maybe not that kind of marriage, though. So I, okay. I definitely kind of, like, see that, like, coming up out of me, though. Okay. So it's super interesting. Like, just dealing with that, like, mentally is, like, super interesting. Okay. So what was the next thing you was about to ask? I was, well, you answered it. Oh, okay. Because okay. I was about to ask you about your girl. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Um, yeah. I think, I said this, so I have an episode where I talk about, um, like, what I'm looking for in, like, a guy. And All right, so, so I haven't heard that like, episode, so give me the synopsis. <laughs> so basically, um... I'm just looking, basically what I said, like, I'm looking for somebody first that I can have a connection with, for one. Yeah. But, of course, I want him to be a certain type of way. Like, I feel like I'm picky. I didn't got to the point where I'm, like, super freaking picky. So, I'm like, you need to do this, 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 yeah. this, 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 and this, this, this. And not to say I'm perfect, okay? We all have our flaws. Yeah. But, you know, I just want my man to be a certain type of way for me. I guess when I run into him, I'm going to know. For sure. I feel it. I mean, and I have, and don't get me wrong, I probably have run into him, but just probably overlooked him. Yeah. You know, I don't know. So, and that's, and that's my problem, too. Like, I'm always like, eh. See, I mean, and that's actually something that I know for sure that, like, it can't, it can't be nobody that I've, like, dealt with already. Right. Like, it can't, like, if it, if it ain't my current girl, it can't be nobody from the past. It, it can't, because she way better than all of them. Yeah. You know, so it's like, so I definitely feel that, like, maybe you overlooked him. I just, I just don't see that, like, happening for me. Like that that's <laughs> I I would be like shocked if that really? were to happen. I would be if I was to marry like some some nah because it's just not that it's even smoke or anything like foul from anybody I've ever like dealt with, but it's like there was a reason that like they, especially a lot of them like they was never even my girl for real, right? Like they was just somebody you talking to, you dating, and you busting down. So it's like this is my, down. Like, my girl, <laughs> you know. And I can't you know if I can't really say that me and her gonna be married or whatever like you know in the next 10 years or whatever it's like you oh no god no what's your sign oh man dude okay so i'm really <laughs> bad at all that like I, I i ain't really like you don't know it into it no i don't i don't remember the name of it but i'm born in january so, so you know what's what? that um that's you between the capricorn and a uh, january 11th so like a Capricorn. Okay, bet, 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 bet. Okay. You know, it's funny. Every time I'm like, I don't remember it off the top of my head. As soon as somebody said, I'm like, I gotta remember that Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn. Yeah. What's that mean though? Because everybody be trying to ask you like, what's your <laughs> sign, and be trying to like read you as if you like, you know, the same as every other person born on January 11th. Listen, I'm a. Uh, I believe in all that because them, them character traits be the same. You <laughs> be like, oh wow, you're. You're a Capricorn, wow. But you don't think that? So here's what I think happens. I think you have this idea of okay. Capricorns have these character traits, right? Mm -hmm. And then 
you don't you don't notice it until you think, oh well, remember that one time I thought about how Capricorns have this, and as soon as somebody do one tiny little thing that even resembles one day, you're like, oh man, you got all them traits, and it's like, nah, that's probably just human traits. Well, no, you know what though, that's some truth to that because I believe that at the same time yeah. a little bit, but. Like I don't I think everybody's their own individual person. But even me, I'm like, dang, like when you keep dating the same sign, you keep noticing the same traits, you're like, Oh wow, yeah. are they really just like that? Like I know like Capricorns, like I feel like I'm really cool with Capricorns. Like mm-hmm. I'm always, I have like Capricorn friends. Yeah. Um I don't really too like I don't know. I always say but you know what I always say is Capricorns be lying. We be lying? Be lying. Every Capricorn I, I met is a it'd be lying, like just because. Like, what about what? <laughs> I don't know. Just everything. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like I know a Capricorn. <laughs> I know right. a Capricorn who he um he lied about having a horse one time, and a I horse. was like, why would why would you lie about that? He's like, <laughs> yeah, I got a horse. In my family, we have a horse. Okay. And I'm like, okay, like. What did you feel like? And then when I went over to his house, he didn't have no horse. And then he was like, oh, yeah, they took it away. Like, why would you lie about it? He really didn't okay. have a horse. And I'm like, well, who he, lied about He was about? using like, that to get girls or something? Or? I don't know. I don't know. His family had money, though. They had came from here. Yeah. They came from L.A. and then they moved to Atlanta. You know, That's that money out it. there yep. is, you know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, your California money do real well in them southern states, dog. Exactly. Real well. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. All right. So they liars. <laughs> so what and you said you're what sign? I'm a Taurus. A Taurus. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what's like what's the, the traits that come with that? People say that we're just like um very stubborn. That's the one thing. And okay. we eat a lot. Do you eat a lot? I do eat a lot. What's like the most you ate in one sitting? <laughs> I don't remember that. Oh no. I, I mean yeah, you never know. If well, you was a real fatty, you'd have been like, yo, one time at Thanksgiving in nineteen sixty five, I, I had eat. three bowls of mac and cheese, thirty five turkey legs. You'd have really like, you know, laid it thick. So I don't think you're a real fatty. Mm. I think you perpetrate me. There's real fat people out there who remember every single meal they ate and how much it was. Okay. So you gotta step your game up. Step I mean, your fatty gr- uh, game up. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe i i don't know all right so what else y'all what you said stubborn eat a lot stubborn eat a lot uh what else do they say about us they say we're arrogant arrogant okay uh, um y'all got any good traits <laughs> well, i mean eat a lot is cool like that's a good trait but like anything like positive oh yeah we're very uh we're very loyal okay we're very loyal to a fault we um to a fault as, oh, as in, like, you loyal for too long? Yeah, we loyal. Okay. I mean, just we stick out a lot of situations. I know I do, like, no saying. matter what. Do like, I ride or die? Exactly. Okay. Um, very loyal to a fault. Um, what else are we? Dang, I didn't forget who I was for yeah, a second. You. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, I'm, I'm a very lovely individual, I like to think. Yeah. <laughs> so like okay so you you don't currently have a man correct just so i can get that it's, it's a, a man man no okay but yeah. i'm, so you ain't I'm seeing somebody okay all right we'll, we'll go with that a little so bit. <laughs> let's 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 go back in time to before you started seeing him so like what are some of the reasons that like if it was on you like maybe it was your fault that your relationships ain't work hey look at EJ just walked in the building oh yeah you gonna sit down with me? Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. What? What? This is Tim. Oh yeah, what's going on, man? What number is that one? Three. Three? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, y'all. Wait a minute. We got we got EJ from the dope ass pot, dope ass show, right? Or dope ass podcast? It was just a dope ass podcast. Dope ass show. So I'm, oh, I'm here. Oh, y'all put the name on There it. we go. Yeah, we had to. We moved, moved platforms, did bigger things. So it's, you know, it. growth. Growth okay. is necessary. Nice. Okay, wait, what was we talking about? I'm sorry. Okay, but no, it's, no, okay. no, it's, it's all okay. good. So we just, we, okay. just we, we talking. <laughs> she was telling me the traits of like being a tourist. So I was actually just asking her like, maybe like in her last relationship, if she could have seen some of them traits maybe cause that to fail, essentially, is what I was going to go to. Uh Oh, my, la- okay. So, well, my last relationship relationship was like, it was almost two years ago. And then he was a Scorpio. And okay. What's that I, mean? Like, what what are their what are their things? I mean, I'm pretty cool with Scorpios. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, pretty, All right. I'm pretty cool. They're pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Um, that ended just because it, we just wasn't two different lifestyles, two different. Just it just wasn't it for me. 
So Yo, women have the best ways of being like, why she didn't work out. Like you talk to the fellas and they be like, oh, like <laughs> this is exactly what happened. Like she was crazy or she was this. When they be like, oh, you know, he just, you know. He, uh. Well, that's because guys, we don't know how to articulate ourselves. Yeah. Like guys, everything is, no, 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 I'm cool, nigga. No, I'm good. <laughs> like for women, they'll break it down and be like, he was emotionally unavailable. Yeah. He had mother issues. He had father <laughs> issues. He had auntie issues. He'd be like, bitch, he, he just didn't fuck with his family then. Right. Like, no, I, but just to kind of chime in, y'all believe in like the zodiac signs? Y'all do that? I do. We were just talking about that. that. I, I, I yeah. don't know much about it. That's I was kind of having her like explain it to me. because I, I, I don't, don't invest know. in it because I feel like it's a preconceived notion. That's what we just, yeah. And that's what he was saying. Thing. I feel like it's what you can use <laughs> to ward off people. I yeah. mean, I don't know. It's like when people go, I don't eat mayonnaise, so I don't eat no potato salad. Like it's just like you just don't want to <laughs> hey, no, fuck hey, with these that's things. A, that's a like, fact though, because that's me. Yeah. I, I don't eat seafood, so anything that has seafood, I'm like nah. Like shrimp fried rice, I love fried rice. Shrimp, shrimp. fried rice, nah, yeah, I can't even, can't even do it. So, so I think I'm that's right what the you. zodiac signs are. Like people use that to rule out people for one reason or another. Yeah. When really experience, I think shapes us so much because you can be the best. You can, somebody can be exactly compatible with you. In their okay. signs and everything. Yeah. But you grew up in a two parent household and they grew up in a broken home. That's true. Their father was absent, your father was there. Mm-hmm. The, or you're a woman whose father like worked two jobs and your mom never worked right. and she just stayed home and took care of you. And it's this guy who ain't had no father in the house. Right. That's true. And he could be a Scorpio, you could be a Leo, whatever that shit mean. But at the end of the day, that man don't know how to address you. Like mm-hmm. everything that you've been shaped and molded to be, he doesn't even know how to approach that properly yeah right more times than not so yeah you can be the greatest sign you can be completely opposite you might find a guy you whatever he whatever but everything he's been basically built for you like he knows to open the door when you get out the car when mm-hmm. you're going into the restaurant he yeah. grabs the bill before you can even reach for your purse like it's those guys that exist yeah but sometimes we ruling them out because he was born in june that's true. Ruling her out because she was crazy. born in October. Like, that shit crazy than a motherfucker to me. You know what, though? That is true, though. Because I, I always say I'm not going to date another Sagittarius. So, and what that, month is that? <laughs> that's that's the beginning of December. Yeah, yeah. end of in November. November beginning of December. Okay. I know that because I'm a Capricorn. That's, okay, so, so, oh, y'all both Capricorn? I don't, I don't, inv- I don't invest. What are you, January, December Capricorn? Uh, 11th, January 11th. Oh, see, it's different, though. January Capricorns and, and December Capricorns are different. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. Different. I feel like ca- the December ones are probably more a little bit more lax. All this knowledge like just going into my head. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think, um, yeah, I think we're a little, a little bit more lax. Yeah, yeah. For me, like January Cap, I take that back. I take that back. I think it's the opposite way. I think January Capricorn men, January male Capricorns are a lot cooler. Like one of my best friends, his birthday is January twelfth. Mm-hmm. Uh, so mm-hmm. my birthday is December twenty seventh. I'm a December, and it's like polar. Yeah, it's it's polar opposite. Super chill, oh, yeah. super funny. Yeah, yeah. He's that guy, and, and granted, like we share some of the traits, but I'm a I have a lot more seriousness to me than him. So I think December, I think December people in general are like serious people. Yeah, I think more that, serious. Yeah, yeah, like when you look at people <laughs> like Den- like yeah. Denzel's a December birthday. I think yeah. he's a de- uh, December Sagittarius. He's just a very serious guy, like Jay Z. Like it's just people. I think that's a, I don't know, maybe that's a moon or something. Y'all look that up and tell us yeah. in the comments because y'all got moons and shit. I know. That's how retrogrades be happening, right? I know, yeah. Woo. And if you want to call in, call in three two three nine zero zero. Retrogrades. Zero. What's that? Oh, that's what? when um I, I don't know. Bree Bree can explain it better than me. What? Y'all dropping bombs over here, man. Like, the, like oh. it was just the mercury the mercury rec- retrograde just happened. Okay, yeah. So the mercury. I kind of, I don't know, I kind of know about it, but I don't know it in, like, detail. Okay. So, it's kind of like, um, they were basically saying, like, it's just like a like a shift. So, kind of like, it's just a little rocky during that time. So, yeah. like, they say, don't sign anything during that time because you don't know what the outcome could be afterwards. Ooh. Or, like, um, like just, just tread lightly with different stuff. That's yeah. when the internet was kind of, like, acting up yeah. for some people. Like, for me, I know it was. Um, different things just weren't working right, or yeah. stuff started happening. So you ever bad hear stuff. people be like, "Oh, the planets align, and, yeah, okay, and yeah, the I stars heard that. align." Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I guess like a retrograde is almost the opposite of that. It's yeah, when yeah, they're yeah. out of whack. Yeah, yeah. So the energy of All the right. universe is thrown off. So you ain't getting no promotions planet. at work in a retrograde or nothing like that. Um, I mean, I, you're not supposed to. Like, it's basically like a standstill. Like when everything around you is going crazy. My pops used to always say, "When everything around you goes crazy, stand still." Okay. 
So I think it's kind of one of those things. It's like don't go buy no car during this. Yeah. Don't yeah, don't yeah, go yeah. don't okay. go do no major. Don't sign no new lease. Yeah. Exactly. Don't quit your job right now. Like just just mm-hmm. hold right. on. Learning. To, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with it. But I'm I'm a firm believer in energy and like the universe and things oh, such like that. Yeah, yeah. Such as that. I don't I don't put so much stock into because even now like zodiac signs that got changed. If you born after 2000, it's a whole new zodiac sign now. Wait, Y'all don't real? even know that. Really? Yeah. If you born after the kids born after 2000 got a whole new fucking sign. Oh, Whole wow. new sign added in this bitch. I don't even know what the fuck it is, but somebody just <laughs> me and yeah. TJ, my co-host, shout out to my brother. Um, we just talked about this like last week. It was um, I don't know if we had it on the the show. The topic was on the show, or we just had it personally. But yeah. um. Yeah, it's a whole new fucking zodiac sign. So these little fuckers <laughs> who was born after the two thousands, they done fucked up the whole shit. You don't even know what it is no more. That's why y'all old niggas can't fuck with young bitches. You don't even know this whole sign. Wow. I'm done. <laughs> just serious. That's why old men should. Little shit like that's that. why R. Kelly got locked up. R. Kelly Yo! got locked up for a whole bunch of reasons. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even he was just, was that nigga ain't know the he ain't yeah. know the new signs. Yeah, them signs. Oh, These young bitches be crazy. You know what sign this young hoe is? Wow. I'm done. Wow. I mean, Woo. Knowledge boy. I'm still a Taurus forever. See that shit? It threw it's thrown it off for us as well. So that's why it's like they they just made a designation of like if you're born after this time, so fucking what your shit is fucked up. Like yeah. you're just gonna be this, and yeah. So for that's me. I, I'm a Capricorn, and I don't know what that means. Like, I, everywhere I read it, it's different. So, I don't know, man. I don't invest in that shit. Is she pretty? That's Do she true. smell good? Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, she clean. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's all that really matters. She clean, okay? Like, yeah, like, that's just it. Like, are you right. clean? Right. I mean, some things, like, what are what are your deal breakers? Like, what are your, like what are those things that that nigga ain't got that? Oh, like, I can't teeth. fuck with him. Hi, good hygiene. Bad teeth? Bad teeth. Bad teeth for you. Okay. Good yeah, hygiene? Yeah. That's okay. definitely yeah. a first. No, that's like so hygiene hard. overall, like just self-care. Hi- self-care. Self-care. Yeah, yeah. self-care. Self-care for sure. Yeah. Yes. Self-care. Yeah. Especially now, like being older and it's like, okay, like there's no reason some of these like women and men should be falling off the way they are. Like mm-hmm. I know oh, no, niggas, yeah, niggas peaking age. early now. Like, you niggas man, will peak early on your this ass. Is crazy. <laughs> like we 28 or whatever you are and your hairline yeah. is back here now. Ooh. Like, bro. That's, Not even, bro, that's like rough. it's just bad. Yeah. Like, and it's it's Damn. just yeah, nah. It's 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 rough out here. Yeah, like nah. a lot like, of people man, have. We, we should be prospering to like forty two. Like for real, we should be prospering look wise to like forty two. Oh, nah. I just think like I don't. Nah, I'm not gonna say that because in reality, some people are just ugly. And so you know what? No, Hold I'm, up, though. I'm, but an ugly black man is still supposed to be looking better than an ugly any other thing else. To who? To, to anybody. See, that's the thing, like, though, He should like, have better skin. Mm-hmm. He should have better, just a better body. Men, men in general, let me explain something to you. Men yeah. in general, especially black men, yeah. especially black men, we we behind the curve on a lot of shit, bro. That's when last fact. time you went to get a pedicure? Oh, shit. Before I moved here, so what? Two months ago. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying, bro. Right. Like, yeah. Two we, months ago. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna need you to go more than that. And you see what that response was? Look, I, you no, see no, what okay. that response <laughs> was? But, but hold on. I got, a, I got a reason why I ain't went, though. I just moved here two months ago, so I, I ain't it's a couple, like, I'm, I'm one of the kind of people where when I find something that's good, like, my barber, before I moved here, he was my barber for six years, yeah. right? So I, I ain't switched barbers. My nail lady, that, that was my nail lady for three years. So for me to go out and test other people, okay. it was it was hard for me to go let this new dude put clippers to I'm my I'm a little head. resistant Ooh. to change, too, so I get it. Oh, no, I mean, I don't have I don't have no hair. Like, my shit oh, is yeah. gone, but I have a beard. Yeah. And I will sit in a barbershop <laughs> for three hours and watch a nigga cut hair before hey, I get in his chair. I feel it. My first time in the barbershop, I'll be sitting there. I'll be, yeah. Go ahead, bro. You good. Let yeah, me see. I, let me see, because I watched him. I just ain't got that kind of time. check you out. Like, I'm cool. <laughs> like, I, I just be, I'll be off the Rex. Like, so the, the two people I went to, all Rex. Like, I, I'm like, okay, your nah. shit look clean. Do he know what I'm going to talk about? And when I went in there, he he was cool. And the thing was, too, like, he was a cool dude. The only thing where I was like, man, I don't know about this. He was, like, kind of a Rastafarian dude. Mm-hmm. And he was, like, taking bond grips in the in the shop. While he was cutting hair, but it was like babies in there, so I was like, "Damn!" Like, on it's a barber end, shop that don't count. You feel, a yeah, barber like, shop in Switzerland, <laughs> though, bro. Like, I, let me tell y'all something: a barber shop in Switzerland, bro. It's, it's yeah. neutral. Like, you can't come here with none of your complaints. Yeah, yeah. You can't oh, come here fact. with none of that shit. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. if you don't want your, if you don't want niggas in the barber shop smoking weed while your baby is in here, then you need to take your baby to the car. That's a fact. You don't need to tell the barbers to stop smoking weed. You need to take yeah. your son outside. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's just what the fuck. It, ain't nobody turning down on no music. We ain't finna stop cursing in the barber <laughs> shop. Same thing oh, as a beauty salon. It's the same. Yeah, conception. Like, you can't come in this motherfucker. Like, bitch, if you come in here on a cell phone, you need to go the fuck back outside. And finish your call. Right. Nobody finna turn down the music in the right. beauty shop because right. you on the Take cell phone. For you. Yeah, 
yeah, no, that's just how it works. So that's true. To me, like barbershop yeah. is a, is a, is one of them places where it's, it's nah. It I feel no, it, but like I said, apply, same nigga. same same place for six years. So it's like getting adjusted yeah. to new shop rules and new just all of that. Yeah. It's just like. It's a lot for me, man. Like the, even dynamics, just dynamics. Yeah, you I know. It's it. just... But you, you definitely have to keep up on the upkeep, though. That's still oh, yeah, no, that's a fact. Definitely. Oh, yeah. how, how often do you go? I try to go every every week or every two. Oh, that's every good. Every week or every two. That's good. Can like, you recommend me your nail lady? Yeah, I got. Wait, where do you live? Is she? So I li- actually live not far from here. I'm. Oh, I live. Of, I live on. We, we'll talk off air. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we'll talk off air. I'll talk off air. <laughs> what All city right. you in? I live in Compton. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I, you know, I work right down the street. I'm on lunch right now. I'm on my lunch break from work. I just pulled up on really. You. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you What do you do? I, I work at Subway. I'm an assistant manager. I'm an assistant manager at Subway. I make sandwiches and try to keep my uh, in, uh, check engine. How long is your lunch? That's that's all you. How long is your lunch? Look at you. You ain't even. I feel an hour. We do the same thing. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. So um, now nah, I was down the street. So it's like every Thursday when you hear like that's what I DM'd you and I told you I was gonna pull up. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I know I did see that. Yeah. I was so, like, okay. What's up, nah, man? yeah. But um, no hygiene is that's that's for me my deal breaker is if you stink. I'm yeah. sorry, we digress a little bit. <laughs> Women that stink, like if a woman stinks, oh <laughs> I, shit. You know, what's the smelly? What's the smelliest? You know what it is, and I know what everybody gonna think it is, but it's not that it's though. Hair. No, not that either. What is it? Your natural scent. If you naturally stink, see, some people think like, they think a sweat, like she done worked all day and okay. she come home and she don't smell fresh. It ain't that one. That one don't bother me. <laughs> I don't mind that. Really? You know what fucked me up though? Is that we just been kicking it all, like your skin. You know how like if you get out the shower yeah. and just wash it, like you just get in the shower. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what you smell, like get in the shower, just wash with like warm water mm-hmm. and just get out. Dry off and don't do nothing to your body. Just air dry and just chill and okay. just go through your day like that. Yeah. That's how you'll know what the fuck you really smell like. And some of you motherfuckers is going to smell yourselves and you're going to smell like yesterday still. Even after you take a shower, you still gonna oh, stink. That's crazy. Just because I've you never, naturally stink. I don't think stink. I've ever smelled something. That's like crazy. I've never been like, oh, somebody. You ain't stink. never heard a motherfucker say, "I smelled you," so I know you can smell you. Yeah, because oh, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, yeah. you can smell what you smell like. But, you know what you smell like. But okay, but the hold up to, to the natural smell, like, cause I always heard that that kind of has shit to do with like what they eat and like what they putting in yeah, their body. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you telling me like after they shower and everything, like after they you, your body just has a smell. You ever get to a nigga house and walk in his room and be like, hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because everybody that's has everybody house everybody, has a smell that yeah. that they don't But where do you think that know? smell come from, though? It come from you, motherfucker. You were living <laughs> yeah. in there. That's right. That's, so that's just like bitches who get nutted in all the time. Pussy stink. It's because that's in you. <laughs> that's inside your <laughs> they shit. They knocking the pH balance off. Yeah, that's exactly. Right. So sometimes people just natural smell. Nigga just stink. I'm so dead. Next time you laid up with a bitch, nigga, yeah. just smell her form. <laughs> the fuck, not a part of her body that's like that's her, crazy. Nigga, just grab her forearm, the elbow. sniff it, nigga, right in the crease of the elbow with the eczema Damn. be. Just what get the right there. Oh my god, get right there and sniff it. Yo, you making me hella fortunate. Like. I've never been with like no stank bitch like that. Like ever. you think you think that you think that. I mean, or maybe I said, I've never. Smelled you know why? Because they you they done sprayed it. They hit you with the sprays. Hey. Bitch, oh. be done sprayed every crack and crevice. Yeah. I know this girl. She used to smell like mildew. Wait, what? She and did. that's a it's she, a it's, it's, it's she literally her smelled natural like mildew scent. every her day natural, yeah. mildew and I was wow. like wow I know you smell how, you. Old, how old was this like what age I was in high school oh Ooh. that's the word <laughs> that's <laughs> so, bad that's when so niggas probably, understand their cruelness like when you develop your real cruelness <laughs> oh, where you understand like I can be you mean the, you the, yeah, you get the yeah high skin. school high school is a, oh yeah high school is survival high school is the rest of your life what people yeah. don't fail to realize like when you go to high school high school becomes high school is essentially the dynamic that will follow you for the rest of your life yeah it's a <laughs> small area that is like you're confined to an area and you just create groups and that's what happens when you go to work mm-hmm. that's what happens when you even in the yeah. world when you create, create your friends like you look at your friend dynamic and it's it's fitting to the dynamics that you've always had your yeah. whole life. Do you do you know anybody who's in high school currently? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I uh, I was talking to my coworkers about this, and I was just telling them like it's funny, like because I also know people who go to high school now, and I was like, well, mm-hmm. like I hear them talk about it and how you know they have like you know they say people are being mean or something, and it's always the littlest thing. I'm like, high school wow. is a punk ass place. Now. Yeah, like I'm like, yo, like do you realize the kind <laughs> no, of shit I had to? We go just through? talked about this on our last episode. Anti <laughs> yeah. bullying, anti bullying, fuck shit up. Oh fuck yeah, anti bullying, fuck, fuck shit. That up. zero tolerance bullying. Yeah, nah. that's it. Like you, you, you can't get bullying. punk no more. Like right. a nigga can't. You don't know who the you don't know who the strongest or the weakest yep. is no more. That's just, yeah. that fucks up the like yep. the, the dynamics of life. Everybody think they're at the top of the pyramid. Yeah, a type A and type B exists in everywhere you go. 
Okay, that's a that's life so dynamic. That's how some people end up being supervisors. Some people end up being workers. Some people end up being CEOs. Some preaching. people just end up being <laughs> in, in a preaching. role. It's because that's what separates us is the alpha and the beta. Right. Unfortunately, we're blurring those lines now with children. Yep. And when they get older, this shit is going to leave us fucked up. We're going to end up with no leaders because nobody's ever going to want to lead because they're going to always feel like we all supposed to be equals and be the same. Mm-hmm. So we're never going to have a president. We're never going to have yeah. CEOs and these people because these little fuckers all want to be mediocre to Together. And that's a fucking <laughs> fact too, like how you just brought up the uh, the whole workforce shit. Like I, I work in IT, right? So mm-hmm. the way it works is everybody has their specialty. So if I come in thinking, you know what, I can do the network engineer shit. shit. Hold up, bro. Oh. Slow, Slow your road. Th- this for him. Yeah, he, layer two, network, layer internet. one. Like exactly. You, niggas, fu- you exactly. fuck over there and go with the dev op, niggas, they're going to be like, stop. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. Info, sec- you help security is going to be like, ah, right. Right. shit they break, we going to get you. <laughs> Viruses break out, come it, get me. Yep, exactly. Breaks, yeah. vi- break, fix, viruses. Yeah. That nigga, trust me, it, yes. you definitely that, will get that separation. That's how, exactly, and that's how it goes too. Because if you try and step outside of whatever your specialty is, they'll let you know. Like, look, 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 look. this is why we have these tiers. This is why we had this shit. Perfect example. Let me ask you a question. When you see, you shop Walmart, yeah. Target, Target, yeah. Walmart. Both I'm more Target. Okay. Oh, okay, so <laughs> when Target, you, you from Compton, right, Bri? No. Where you from? <laughs> don't don't say it so disgusted. <laughs> oh, you from Atlanta. <laughs> Oh, yeah. sweetie, welcome. You ain't seen a straight man your whole life. Yo, oh, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Hold up. That's why that, that's the, real quick. Hold on. That's I, why. Man, that's I be, why. She, I she right here. so hard. That's why now I Atlanta, understand. Boy. Now I understand why she got so many rules and shit. You got to send them, them Atlanta oh, yeah. niggas through the, gotta, like, them niggas got to go through the American. Hold on. Wait a minute. The American gladiator course. You got to. All the women in let Atlanta me, got a grinder account to make sure say, that you got to make sure. Let me just He's checking say. that nigga drawers to make sure right. he ain't got shit marks in the front. You been, <laughs> nigga got, why you got shit marks in the front of your drawers, nigga? <laughs> oh, damn. Wait a minute. Woo, shit. Oh, yeah. I love Atlanta nigga jokes. Y'all are crazy. Lie. I didn't know he was going there. This Wait. is great. This is Wait. great. I got like 15 minutes left. <laughs> I love it. This is great. Okay, first of all, I've been here for five years, Go almost, ahead. in Go November. Ahead. Okay, So That's I've been here for a minute. Go ahead. <clears throat> I've been, I've been right? here for five years. That's five years. You okay. legally took your first drink in Atlanta, boo. Like you still Atlanta. Like you can no, drop I me took off. It here. You can drop me off anywhere in this world. Like I'ma always be Compton. <laughs> I'ma always be. <laughs> Motherfucker put me anywhere in this world, I'ma always be Compton. That's cool. That's how it's supposed to be. Atlanta, that's all it does. That's you programmed to like undercover niggas. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a lie. Don't be trying to come for me. <laughs> Listen, uh-uh. No, no, we no. We coming for Atlanta. <laughs> no. I love Brie. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, damn. Atlanta. Shout out to Atlanta. I know they going. But I'm sure you've heard these jokes. Like, you've you been getting them, like, your whole life, right? Every time somebody asks me where I'm from, they be like, ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you be like, niggas okay. be like, ah, oh, that's cool. Niggas don't ever press no bitch. You want to go on a date to the clinic or something? Right, 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 right. right. No, you want to get your shoe swabbed with me? So right. speaking of, that's a good little segue because yeah, did good. y'all hear about the lady who um who was who she's in Atlanta and she I guess went on a rant on Facebook Live and was saying how she um she had HIV. So she oh, was just shit. saying that she had HIV and all this. And, oh, she was like, Tyrone got HIV. David got HIV now. Yeah, yeah. And I gave it to him and all that oh, type of stuff. So she got oh. a little rant. But it came out later that she just said it because she just felt like saying it. So she brought up all her little, you know, reports and all that. So she didn't she give it to him. It. She doesn't have it. Oh, good. Praise so she God. just said it out of spite. Right on. We don't need that spreading. <laughs> right on. I'm Yo, let me tell you but something. I'm, I, one thing I do not play with. I do not play with people's health. Yeah, I don't play I, the endangerment of people. I don't. Play so are like y'all that. every time you lay down with somebody, you you asking them like, listen, you guys tested or what? Like you good? Like what? Who? Yeah. You, oh, okay. you good at this point in my life. At this point in my life, I'm not. I'm I'm good. I'm I'm chilling. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a whole different situation. Mm-hmm. Like you to date as an adult, I think you you have like sexual urges. But I think the whole process of what even stimulates you as an adult takes you out of the position of certain risk Mm -hmm. because there's a certain level of no matter how nice a nigga look in his jeans, he still has to spark you mentally. Yeah. And as you do that, you dig through experiences and everything is not. You can't always top surface like that and find out like, wow, you you, you a hoe. It's kind of funny. (laughs) Right. Holy shit. Because. So recently, like maybe a couple of weeks ago, I had the the, uh, the the idea to where I was like, you know what? Honestly, I need to be celibate because just just the, like you said, like the risks aren't they they aren't really mounting up like that. So you know, I, this was recently. Yeah, like I let my girl know and everything. Like it's just to me, like it's just like why not wait till I'm married to you know do this? But, but you're in a relationship. Yeah, and y'all live together. Yeah, 
So okay. I mean, <laughs> look me, at your face. <laughs> for me, no, 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 because I've heard a lot of people with this lately, and this is yeah. my whole thing, man. Like I, I think. I don't know your upbringing. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't know your upbringing. For me, I think the one thing we can't, especially as a community, we can't be doing is taking away aspects of our love from each other. Like, yeah. and I understand what you're saying. Like, sex is sex. Cool. But there is um, prerequisites to yeah. sex that mm-hmm. I think, sex is an action that some people look at as the complete culmination of it. To me, I think the process of leading up to sex, if handled properly, displays a certain affection and a certain... Um, vulnerability a certain love it, it, it displays so many things a connection that you have to have with somebody so when you strip that from to me in my yeah. opinion like when you strip that down and you strip that to its bare yeah you find out certain things but i think also you start putting barriers up with your feelings you stop doing certain things because you'd be like oh, i'm gonna tell myself i can't fuck so i don't even want to kiss her this type nah, of way nah, nah, nah. Or, because it's like <clears throat> so so for me i'm more thinking of it as okay I should be able to, you know, be to take it to, you know, like you said, to go and go through these steps without making that final step. Like, but for why me, though? Why for me personally? I just feel like it's just like I don't know. I, I just kind of like okay, I've I've been doing it for this long. What have I really gotten out of it? Like that's the way I kind of weighed it. Is okay. What? what but that's I, that's my whole what, point. Is like, what are you investing in sex? See, that's what I think men yeah. go wrong. Is that we invest so much in sex that we're supposed to be getting something out of it. The problem is you're looking at the sex to get something yeah. from it. What you should look at is the sex is a byproduct of the bond. Yeah. Well, see, to me, I'm just like, okay. I can have this bond without having that though, because it's so much more in this relationship that me and my girl share. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, I don't, I don't necessarily need that. Like, that's not something that I need from you all the time. Whenever it's to, just. It's okay, something that yeah. I feel like, okay, well, you know what? If we if we really about to try and make this a marriage or make this a lifetime thing, that's something I could put on hold. Like, why not delve deeper into, you know, what else we thinking about or what other feelings we have? Like, Okay, I get that. You know, it's just, it's just to me, it's just, okay, well. A little bit. If I can strip <laughs> certain things away. I think that's a, I think that's a dynamic that, I think that's some some people have that. Yes, some people yeah. need to strip it away to be able so to get to can, know their partner. Yeah, yeah. I think that, um, like, I had someone tell me that, like, sex is how I connect. Like, for me, I have, I look at it like this. I'm such a, like, straight, narrow motherfucker with all the women that I encounter in my life just for the reasons of, like, respecting women. Like, I'm not going to be inappropriate. I don't even hug women. Like, I dap women up, yo. Like, if I don't really know you or have a bond with you, I don't just hug women that I'm just kind of, like, cool with. Like, I'm going to put my hand out and shake your hand because I create a respectable distance between me and just regular old run-of-the-mill women because certain things for me are reserved for my woman. They're reserved for the woman that I'm being intimate it's with not, and, and mm-hmm. I'm dealing with. Exactly. So certain shit, I'm I'm just not going to, like, I'm not going to hug and hold and back rub. And no, because those thing, things that are, are for her. So that's a part of the connection is that you get this part of me that nobody else gets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So sometimes sex is a part of uh, of that. Like, yeah. it's it's an understanding that as much as this means to me, mm-hmm. I, I, I put it on hold for everybody else and leave it strictly for you. Now, to me, if you can deny the emotion that creates life and displays love in my opinion from me i have an issue if you can lay up with me yeah. all day in the house and not be on your period and not feel like we need to be having sex then i i, I got a i got a bit of an issue i, I feel that like too like don't get me wrong like it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a challenge it's been a challenge so far but to me it's just more of like, okay like so you, you already put this in place oh yeah how, okay. long, how long have you been in effect uh, maybe two, three weeks. I was dating somebody that tried that shit. It yeah. was like, I, I want to be celibate. I was like, yeah. bitch, I'm not trying to buy a bit, so you yeah, can sell it right. all you want. <laughs> no. but, um, but but I, but then, but what, then, what do you feel like you've gotten from it so far? Do you feel like you and your lady's bond? Like, what have you? What new have you learned about your lady in the last? So three far, weeks? it's been more about myself. What honestly. what new have you learned about yourself in the I, last? Three so weeks? what I've learned more about myself is more what I want to bring to the table as a man, and more what I would want from a wife. Which is kind of what I was telling her is mm-hmm. like. My whole idea of what I want from a wife is kind of changing. And I think that that has something to do with it. Because, uh, I don't know, for me, like, sex always kind of, it's always been lit. And it's always been, like, you know, really nice to have this moment to share with me and my somebody special. But it's definitely blinded me in a way. You know, because it, it's always been, like, ever since I was, what, like, 15. Like, it's just something you, you, you as a man, you just kind of told. Like, you go out there and you get it however you can from whoever you can. Mm-hmm. And I think until I had, like, maybe until I got with her. I still kind of had yeah, that right. mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really like resetting my whole thinking about the whole sex thing, which is why I'm like, look, why not put it on hold when I can, you know, really stop that, continue every other week. I mean, you get so many more intimate moments in a relationship than just sex. Yeah. I think, you know, 
I, I think for me, it works backwards. Yeah. Like, I've always, I, I never was taught to, like, me and my pops never even discuss sex. You know, some, like, yeah. you, you, you bring, like, your brother brings his new girlfriend to the barbecue and your uncle, like, nephew, nephew, look yeah, at that. Right, hey, right, you see right, that right. thing? Back when I was young, like, I've never had those dynamics with the men in my family. It mm-hmm. was like a respect, like, yo, get her something to eat, get her a plate, get her, like, it was certain things. So that never like to knock down as many of them as I could never was a thing for yeah. me. And then number two, I grew up with mommy issues. Like me and my mom's dynamic is kind of like fucked up. Oh, so for wow. me, I always kind of seeked love and, and shit like yeah, early yeah. on in my relationships before like therapy made me realize that later on in my life. But like, Oh, you go to therapy. I, yeah, of course. Is, is it a black therapist? Yeah. Put me I want to start going Yo, to sir, therapy. Look, we we got to get a kind of, man, we going to, so you, you know who you on. need to link with? Who? You need to come back up here and get with chill. Will. Chill Will has a show here on the Good News Good, Good News Network. He's a therapist, and then shout my co-host, out to Chill Will. shout out uh-huh. Chill Will, my co-host TJ, he a therapist as well. So, okay, yeah, we got it. We got yeah, it. I didn't can. know that. Yeah, TJ, TJ is a therapist. We have to figure this wow, out. That's why he seems so calm natured. He seems very calm natured. Yeah. So, okay. um, but for me, I grew up with those dynamics. Like, mm-hmm. okay. so I kind of always seeked um, a certain type of love and um, approval, and almost. Early on, I, I guess I would assess my value through that. So yeah. understanding that sex wasn't as big to women early on made me put that to the side as a thing that could help me establish value with her. I, I can't pressure her like into that. having sex because sex isn't a yeah. value to her. So for me, as I grew and I learned how to love, I, I learned how to love looking for a bond more so than I did a, 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 oh, a, a physical bond. I wanted an emotional bond. I, I wanted really somebody. I wish I who, had that growing up. I really do. No, it was a terrible Man. thing. No, nigga, like oh. my, my. How old are you? I'm 29. I'm okay, and then you. Oh, okay, 25. Okay. Yeah, it's different. So it's like, the age yeah. gap. Yeah, I grew up getting like my mother beat my ass growing up. Like she yeah. kicks my ass. So for me, a woman who could. When I fucked up, just talk to me and be like, babe, that, that, that wasn't cool to do. Or yeah. like, you got to be better. Like, those things. Like, women who yell at me, that shit is... That it's shit, just a trigger. It, it man. It's, it's and a but trigger. The, the fucked up thing, yeah. I love mean women. You love mean women. Oh, uh, mean women. Them, them, well, I mean, I, I can understand Like, them why. motherfuckers who don't be wanting to talk to yep. nobody. Bitch that yeah. don't speak. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> just be sitting there. <laughs> Don't scratch your head. She just pat it. No. <laughs> oh, man. And you from Compton, too, so I know it's a lot of that out there, ain't it? Who I don't, I've never... Ew, shit, I've never dated a Compton woman in my Really? Life. Like, date, like... I fucked around and, like, you know, yeah, yeah, swoop, yeah. swoop, but I... But not I, real life date. Like, I'm talking about real life where it's, like, I introduce you to me as a... Like, my lifestyle and yeah. who I am. Like, right. It's, it's... Nah. I've only had, like, four real, like... This is she's just my girl, and okay. I've only had like four of those in my life, and so yeah, it's it's not a it's none of them were for Compton. Okay, well. <laughs> so you like mean women? Yeah, like stern, like yeah, it's just something Real about like, yeah. that. Like mm-hmm. it's it's a like I don't know what it is. It's a power and a strength. <laughs> I'm not gonna say mean. That's a terrible. Yeah, because because it's like for me, it's always okay. Well, my girl is mean to you. When it come to me, like she cool. She fine. We we kick it. Like we homies. She's yeah. gonna be rude to you. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm more for that. Like, like yeah, just those, stern, like just those Yeah, yeah. yeah. I serious all the time. Yeah. Like no bullshit, no yeah. nonsense. You know she's gonna be a strict yeah. mother one day. Yeah. 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 One of them, like Okay. I, 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 I have <laughs> a thing page. for that. Like as much yeah. as Yeah. I have a thing. Like I always end up with those women. Like people who wanna be my mother. And say, you can't do that. <laughs> Like, bitch, but that, that makes sense up. because of your upbringing. <laughs> yeah, but that at the same sense. time, like, I'm looking for something in the same place that I know it's not at. Like, I'm dating women that are just like my mother wanting the opposite from them, though. Oh, okay, right, okay. So I'm, I keep going to the same place. Why do you think that is? It's my comfort zone. It's what I know. I know how to deal with strong, powerful women. I don't know do how to, Do you think you'll like, ever get outside of your comfort zone? Um, Probably not. No? Probably not. Like, I know I'm, I'm not going to marry, like, probably, like, not going to be, like, a married for love type. Like, and really? we were just talking about that I, I'm, too. I'm, I, I will marry for love, but you ever mm-hmm. meet people who's like love is not their first dynamic? Yeah. Okay. It's more of a it's, it's more not, of the friendship thing first. Some for some people friendship not yeah. their first dynamic. For some people, you align with a motherfucker based on just certain. They complement each other well. Mm-hmm. You complement each other well, so you could complement your partner in many ways, in love and friendship, and and for some people it's just in. I guess you call it affairs. Like you have your dealings and how you deal with things right. are proper, and they allow a person to be able to envision a certain type of lifestyle with people. For, For example, certain, like uh, arranged marriages, it's, it's based off beliefs. To me, I feel like point. that's that has such a negative connotation, and it just seems so stoic. Like 
arranged marriages I'll seem. I'll fuck with them. No, no, no. I, I feel like arranged marriages, when you talk to those, there's a disconnect. Like, I don't know. It just has a negative connotation to me. I don't think arranged marriage is the proper thing. I think when, I, I guess it, it, there's no way to describe it properly because everybody feels like when you don't marry for love, you just married for some reason that's wrong. Mm-hmm. Or if you're not, if love is not the first thing that you feel when you think of your partner or the first thing you guys, it's wrong. And I, I don't necessarily feel like that's true. I feel like there are different dynamics. Love exists. Being in love does exist. But mm-hmm. you can be in love with someone. You can. The motherfucker you've loved the most in your life is not who you're going to marry. That's true. That's just it. You, you love your girl. I'm not even. But you, you yeah. not gonna end up marrying a motherfucker that like. Yeah. You just that's love the if you yeah He's like all in love with and yeah all that's that. rare like that's yeah. very rare because love is not what makes you love a motherfucker yeah. if that don't make if that makes sense like love yeah. is not what makes you love a motherfucker. There's certain traits that people have mm-hmm. that allow you to be able to go. You are a person that I could love. Mm-hmm. So love is a again a byproduct of you know what to do in this situation you go to work you have a job financially i can see myself stable with you Mm -hmm. i've met your family and i see nobody has no mental illness or it's not dysfunctional so we can have kids together you know how to raise kids those are the dynamics that when you become older nigga yeah you want that you know how to balance a check but you know you know how to handle things financially you You understand the value of a credit score you know how to get that though you don't operate really off of love so 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 when when you get all of those things that start coming together what Uh happens is life becomes easier for you life becomes something that you can go like wow this yeah. is something i can get used to mm-hmm. when a person brings that into your life and balances you in that way that allows you to go wow i can truly love, love. My, my life love yeah, yeah, my yeah. partner love my partnership yeah, yeah. I, for me that's more so like i need somebody who's like great mm-hmm. I, I do care about you i do have this affection for you but bitch you don't go to work you don't do this you oh, don't do fact. that you, yeah. you don't know how to raise children you don't want to raise children exactly. you, you want to yeah. have them but you, you only want to um, have appeal to the outside world but you don't really want to do the things that's necessary on the inside to be mm-hmm. able to make these things happen to me that's what is more um, provoking to me that'll make me love someone more than just like so that's why I say yeah. sex is not sex is a, a thing don't get me wrong like I have a, hu- a high sex drive very yeah. high sex drive but it's <laughs> it's like um, uh, yeah it's it's a thing that comes after a lot of things for me see and that's and, that, and I hope that's like the point that I get to I Honestly, you. because it's like, like I said, for me, it was so backwards, like just growing up and just sex dating. made you love. People but it's a good shit. thing that you're exactly. that you're taking the steps to to try to get to know, like what you think yeah, you yeah, kind of want. Yeah, and honestly, by like, being celibate. Honestly, it kind of like not that I'm like just out here like gonna tell everybody to do it or no shit like that. But for me, it's it's kind of made me feel kind of good, like to where I feel like okay, well, I did it I'm at thinking, a point. Thinking clearly, at least, like, to I, where did, like I mean, I did too for like. Ten years I did that shit. For ten years? Yeah. I mean, from like eight oh, to ten. Wow. Eight First to ten years, years of my life. Yeah, yeah. I feel it right. First ten <laughs> years. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. After that, I was trying to fuck something. Yeah, every, <laughs> yeah. every nigga say that. Trying to fuck something. You. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Even when that shit, I just like the company of women, man, to be honest with you. More than actually Yo, like that'd be cool fucking, as shit. I just like women around, man, nigga. I like, I just like women niggas. around. I don't even want to oh fuck. Like, God. sometimes... This, let me tell you what my experience has been. Yeah. I've, I've had sex with a lot of women, but my thing has always been this. They've wanted to fuck me more because than you I wanted. It. I'm not even uh, be sitting there vibing. We just vibing. I like hanging out with you. I like your energy. I like, yeah. well, I'm going to get something to eat. You want to roll with me? You want to, before I know it, she'd be like, you don't realize you're taking me here and we're here and I went here with you and here with you and here. I'd be like, that damn, I don't realize that. I'm taking you. That's why women be like, oh, this nigga a trick. I'm not a trick because I'm not taking you nowhere for you, boo. I'm not taking no woman nowhere to impress her. You know what, though? I know really? somebody that's like that. He, yeah. like, <laughs> he said people call him a trick. He like, I like to eat. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be my shit. If you with me that day, you just so happen to go to Mr. Child's with me. You just so happen yeah. to go yeah. to this place. But I didn't go here. This is my life, boo. This is my life, baby. I have to tell a lot of women, like, this is my life. This is not nothing for you. I right. swear to God, I'm not doing shit to impress you. And they be thinking. If I was church. taking you somewhere that that would reflect your value to me, we would just go to Chick-fil-A real quick. Right. Like, your value to me is just That's a bar. Somewhere. Like, Ooh, that's my a bar. value of me, though, my niggas. That's niggas. a bar. That's a bar. <laughs> like, my value of me and my, my lifestyle is, is going here. I need to sit down. Like, I'm... If you asking me, I don't want to take myself nowhere that I got to. If I don't get an individual menu when I go there, I don't want to go. Like, okay. if I got to go order off a board, I don't want to go. That's good. Yeah. Like, so for ladies, like, I'm not tricking because I took you there, shorty. I'm, I just, bitch, this is where I eat. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, fuck my stomach. <laughs> up. Oh, this ain't about you. I am done. 
man, that's what's up. Oh, man. Yeah, man, but I got to get up out of here, though. All Thank right. you so much yeah, for no, joining. Well, you're very welcome, man. I had to come through and show you some energy. love. Real quick, real fast. <laughs> like, man, I be having, this is my girl right here. She came in. We joined the station together. <laughs> yeah, okay. did. Yeah, I'm, I, she's like uh, the first second, first round draft pick. Her and Kyrie. Me and TJ <laughs> okay. was, we slid in. We like oh, the undrafted. undrafted. Yeah, we the I'm undrafted free like, agent rookies and shit. So we trying to make some noise in this bitch. We trying to make the roster. you are, though. I did listen to the last one, too. I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold on. Tell, like, them where, tell them where to find your podcast. Soon I know where to find you. Oh, show. no, we here. We right here on the Good News Network on Saturdays, 3.30 p.m. Pull up, because right Bree going to be here this Saturday, right? Yeah, 3.30. <laughs> yep, cancel it. I don't give a fuck what it is, who right. it is. Cancel it, because you're going to be here. Send me a text. Let me know what you need, whatever accommodations, and we got you, my man. Oh, yeah, so you welcome here. for Sunday. You welcome to come up Saturday, too, if you want. I, I got church, but if, if y'all still here when I get out, I'm, I'm here. There you go, I man. Go you. on to church and get you one of them. Get oh, you a hoe. Yeah. Oh, get you a hoe, because that's where they be in church. Pastor's daughter. First of all. Huh? <laughs> what? My hoes be in oh, church. Damn. Damn. Pass the pussy like it's a collection you plate. Damn. Damn. Bye, no. EJ. No. Y'all, that was EJ. We're going to give him a little round of applause. Yeah, <laughs> if you feel like you want to call in, okay, because I couldn't get it out originally, <laughs> it's 323-900-0478. If you feel like you want to chime in and you have any comments on oh, yeah, what definitely. you just heard, please call in and give me some feedback if you want to. Wow. Um, was... We're just going to keep this rolling. Wow, that was, that nigga deep. Yeah, he's that very wow, man. I love it. Man. Very big personality. Wow, I love. Man, I, I really <laughs> like what y'all doing here. This is like it's a nice little place. Y'all got you know however many shows lined up for like the week. Like this is really dope. Yeah. So what got you in the podcast? Like what made you even be like okay, this is something I wanted to do. Uh, so what made me do? You know what? I was always told that I have like a voice for it. Like in the personality, yeah. so it's not because of what other people said. It was just like, wow, I really had to sit back and reevaluate myself because I was like, I know my voice is meant for something. Like when I was younger, I sang, you know, all the way up until a certain age. Really? Yeah, you was and at then, the church singing. Yeah, That's what's up? <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, well, I don't want to be a singer though, like because yeah. I know I'm too lazy for that. Like I would probably be a one hit <laughs> wonder to be honest with you. I just it just right. ain't. I just. I don't have the energy for that. So I was like, you know what? I need to use my voice for something else. And I was like, you know what? I like, and I like talking. I like having conversations. I like different people's inputs. Like, that's why my show is a little, probably, like, that's why I like just me. And then I talk to other people and get different inputs, different personalities, just different everything. Because I like to hear different people and all that type of stuff. So I feel it. I mean, that's kind of the same reason I got into it. I, I, uh, I started listening to podcasts. And mm-hmm. I just kept listening, like, man, this is something that I yeah. can kind of do. Like, it don't take much. Like, I, I can sit here and talk about topics. Like, yeah. I've been doing that. I've always been, like, a talkative person, like, in school and, and just out and about, like, when you're out, you know, with your friends or whatever. So I just kind of, you know, got my friends together and got my sister with it, and we just started doing it. And it just kind of just kept rolling from there. It, it was kind of crazy the way it kind of all happened. But I, I don't know. I, I loved it. Okay. It was great. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. It's kind of I like I like it. I'm gonna yeah. be honest with you because my main goal is to be radio, radio. Like I want to be back Breakfast really? Club style. Like you know. See, and I think for me that's kind of what made it like more fun. Is I I ain't had that goal. Mm-hmm. Like it was to me it was just more like if I could just continue to you know because and, and I like I just felt like I knew a lot of interesting people doing a lot of interesting things. Yeah. So if I can continue to just bring them on and talk to them and just engage them in conversation about what's yeah. going on and possibly offer like just a different avenue especially now where i'm like man like i work in an industry where there is not really any black people yeah so now like that's one of the things i really like to just try and talk about whenever i go anywhere is okay this is you know something that i did you know to get in this industry and maybe you could do the same or because it's not an industry that they tell you about in school it's not something that they tell you about you know when you i don't know fucking going to job fairs or anything like that so it's just mm-hmm. I, don't know, I feel like whenever you got like that one thing or maybe the, your your list of things it's like man if i could just always get these things out like the podcast always gonna hit yeah so it just always kind of worked yeah you know i like it works it. and this is the i feel like this is the best place where you could be yourself yeah um people really get a taste for what your personality is if you know you're being yourself you know mm-hmm. like for me i don't know like what do you think about what what do you think about me like what is my Type of like, what do you, when you look at me, when you hear me, what do you like? Yeah. What type I mean, of for me, 
like when I first met you and we first recorded, I was like, oh, like you just honestly here, here's what really like made me be like, okay, like I need okay. we need to be friends. It's okay. how tough you were, like how tough your skin was. Yeah. Because I've grown up to where I've always had like tough skin and I've always been a person to joke on people. I've always been a person to get joked on. I'm mm-hmm. fucking dark skin in five five. I've been short my whole <laughs> life. Like that shit coming with jokes. So it's like for me, I've always been able to take it. Yeah. So yeah. whenever I like I've had times where I've dished jokes out and people get sensitive and they DM you or I've dished jokes out and people start crying and they complaining to their friends about you. So it's like mm-hmm. the way you took it. Like, and you ain't, you know, you wasn't over there like, okay, can we stop? Or, oh, I'm here. Nothing. You was just taking it on the chin. So I was like, oh, bad. Like, this is, this is a real, like, kind of person. So (laughs) that for me was kind of like what really stuck out was just, you just seemed tough. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I I rock with you and whatever you do for that. Thanks. Yeah, I'm pretty tough skin. Mm -hmm. I feel it. Have you ever told that story on on any of your shows? What? The, The story that we had discussed on the other show. About, uh, <laughs> I have actually, have? Oh, yeah, okay. I have. I have another podcast where I talked about it. Oh, okay, so yeah. And did you get any feedback for it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people just be like, "Oh, well, I'm not dumb either." Like a lot of people have done the same <laughs> things, and you're like, "Wow, I didn't know." Like all of us oh, is yeah. like retarded. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumb. Oh no, no, don't don't be <laughs> fool. It's a lot of women out here giving niggas money. <laughs> and, and, and man, look, 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 look. Let me let me tell you about one of my homeboys. All right, I'm, I'm gonna put his business out there. Here don't we go. put his I'm business do it. out there. I'm okay, do don't it. say no name. Oh hell no, 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 no. I ain't no snitch. <laughs> But I'm, I'm going to do it, though. So my man's, you know, he had this girl, right? You know, he's a homeowner. You know, okay. he went, came back home from the military, bought a home. It's his house. <laughs> Got a girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. Ain't been with her but less than six months. Moved her into the crib. Okay. So he decides, you know what? I'm in this big old house. I want to rent it out. Okay. Right? I'm going to just go ahead and rent it out, and I'm going to move it to an apartment so I can kind of make money mm-hmm. while, you know, also saving money to buy another house or whatever, right? Okay. So he does that. Him and his girlfriend is out here searching for apartments for him, searching for apartments, searching for apartments. Okay. They finally find a place. And so basically the day after they go and sign the papers or whatever, he's like, you know, okay, well, you know what? This ain't going to work out. And just breaks up with her. And so now she's like, you know, kind of, I don't want to say she's scorned, but, you know, she hella salty. Like, look, uh, you know, you did me dirty. You basically used me and all of this and all of that. I'm like, wow, like, you basically just came through, and I don't know what you used her for to get these papers or this apartment, but, mm-hmm. like, it's it, but it's, it's women like that falling for stuff like that all the time. Right. Like, because to her, she thought she was going to marry this dude. She thought that they was madly in love. She don't understand how he treating her like this. And it's just like, well, I'm sure to him, he just like, eh, no big deal. This ain't nothing. Like, this is this is easy, easy finesse. So yeah, it's it's niggas out here getting whatever they need. You know what though? That's what I that's what I've also noticed about like um I don't really want to target just like LA men. Like I don't want to say that, but I kind of feel like every guy that I run into out here is like kind of like that like manipulators kind of like they get Ooh. whatever they want out of any situation. Dang. And I'm like and, I, and I'm like, sometimes I'm dumb because, like, it just turns into, like, when you like somebody and you're, like, infatuated uh, yeah. with somebody, you lust them for somebody, uh, yeah. they can, that's how they get you. Yeah. And you're like, eh, I'll do anything for you. Like, right. and so that's, uh, I've right. learned so yeah. many lessons, but it's just, it's so sad. I'm like, okay. But see, and that's the other thing, like, it's like I tell people, these are the kind of things you have to discuss, you have to go through. To really, like, know, like, what's for real, you know? Like, it's like, okay, you go through them, you know, them moments or whatever, you know, when you less than after doing it, it turns out, okay, he ain't the one. Mm -hmm. But now you know, like, okay, from now on, when I look at somebody like this or I see somebody with these traits, I know, ah, nah, that ain't really what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So you can just kind of pass it along. You know, if you don't necessarily really recognize, like, oh, this is what keeps happening, you just gonna keep doing it. Well, that's true. And I do, and sometimes we recognize it as women because we just so, like, we love first, you know? So it's like, if somebody could, like, for me, somebody could keep doing something to me. And it's only gonna be so many times you can do it, but then, like, once I'm done, I'm done. But, like, you know, we just love first. I know I do. So I don't really just be, it could be so many red flags and all that, and I'm like, nah, he not like that. (laughs) It's not, it's not for real. That's not, no, he gonna be different. You ever had your homegirls be like, oh, he ain't shit? And you just like, nah, 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 he cool. You don't know him like I know him. Yeah, of yeah. course. I mean, I know you have. A couple times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and what do they turn out to be? Not and they, yet. Yep. Man, and, and it'd be crazy, too, because the way somebody else sees somebody mm-hmm. is really, that's really who that person is. But you just refuse to really, like, sit down and see it from their perspective. Because you like, nah, I know them better than you. Right. I spend more time than them. Which I talk to her more than you ever talk to her. And they telling you, nah, she, she seemed funny. 
Right. She seemed like something off, and you just, nah. Yeah, it ha- <laughs> happens all the time. Yeah. But that's what's supposed to happen. Like I said, you're supposed to grow. You're supposed, you're supposed, you're supposed to, to learn. You, this is yeah. this is learning process. It's especially being young. Are we still yeah. young and all of that type of stuff? But it ain't going to be too many times I'm going to keep making the same mistakes. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Like, <laughs> gotta, yeah, I got a homegirl now who complain about, oh, like, all the single men that, you know, I run into in L.A., they ain't got no jobs. It's like, okay, well, why don't you stop dating niggas? No, but you know jobs? what, though? That's <laughs> true, though. I'm not going to really? lie. A lot Is of them bad? don't have jobs. Like, a lot of them, I mean, I don't talk to nobody who don't have no jobs. So yeah. A lot of them are entrepreneurs. And I'll we're going to put that in bet, quotes. Bet, bet, bet. Okay. <laughs> a lot of them are entrepreneurs. That is a job. Of sorts. Of sorts. It's a, <laughs> it's a job. Okay, all of my entrepreneurs out there. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I mean. I don't know. <laughs> I meet a lot of them. I meet a lot of them that don't have like job jobs necessarily. Yeah. But uh, I want somebody who work who work a job, a job job yeah. like me. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, okay, you need hey. to have some some four hundred one k some something because we can't look if we go and get apartment. I got to be the one. You can't sign for that because your money right. is dirty. We, right, we <laughs> that man, that's a fact. That's, what we gonna do? Shit, like, nigga, if we get audited, you gonna have me looking stupid. Right. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no. <laughs> Your name ain't going on none of these bills. None okay. of that. Okay. Yeah, nah, that shit for uh, real. Uh, but no, it's funny though, no cause when you when you sell dope or whatever and you do shit like you never think about like, oh, okay, like how I'm gonna fill out this reference form that I need to fill out for this W two or for you know this lease or whatever you applying for, this car loan. It's like dog, this I'm is... not gonna lie, I knew one and he didn't know stuff like that. Like I was really? schooling him on like how to fill out stuff and I'm like, Okay, see this is hey. why this is not going to work. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you talking about a red flag. <laughs> oh, that's a so, listen. I'm gonna Damn. need you to know the basics at yeah. least. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm past those. All right, so you've been here for five years. Like, what's the biggest like? What's the biggest pro to living in LA? And what's the one thing that make you miss Atlanta? <laughs> Okay, so the pro is is that there's so much more to do. Now I don't know. I, I always tell people that it grew my adolescence. Georgia grew my adolescence, it's not my adulthood. So when yeah. I moved here, I was 19. So I don't really know how it is now. Like, so okay. it could be totally different. Yeah. But I would say, like, out here, like, I was just, my eyes were just wide open to everything because there's so much to do out here. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, just different. Like, I learned so much. I didn't know what boba was. I was like, they ain't got oh, that. Yeah. They probably got it now. But yeah. I was like, what is boba? Like, <laughs> you yeah, know, stuff like tea. that. And people would look at me sideways like, you don't know what that is? No, right. I don't know what that is. Yeah. So I think it's just more to do. It's more things out here that are just so different. The culture is just very different. You know, Atlanta is just chocolate city. So right. it's just you when you're so used to seeing a certain group of people, yeah. you don't really when you when I came out here, I was like, it's so many different it's Asian people. Right, I say you didn't even know what Filipinos people. were. I, <laughs> I was like, oh, it's so many. But even then, even out there, the people that's white, the people well, where I was, they yeah. they mostly is like they if they white, they black. You know, if they really? Filipino, they black. They Mexican, they black for real. Ain't nobody. We all just, you know, it's, it's all the same. So yeah, that's one thing that I would say is a pro. Um, you said what did I? What yeah, do you, like what's one thing you might miss about Atlanta? Well, but, okay, um, the homey feel. It's okay. it doesn't feel like home. A lot of people say that though. When you ask them about that out here, you're like, I don't really feel like people that are people that are from the East Coast, South, yeah. and all that. So it doesn't really feel like um like home, home. Like the food is just not homey like you gotta so you gotta yeah. hit so you gotta have that auntie that it. grandma out here or somebody yeah. that can really cook you a nice southern style meal oh yeah that's what your granny for um i mean even the southern restaurants out here is a little bit different like the yeah. food is different they don't have like the wings is even different like wings really? like wings stop is good to me i ain't gonna lie really but I, I mean, I like them because cause they're not stingy with the wing size. You know what I'm saying? So okay, I'm going to be yeah. stingy with the wing right, size. Because I'm, I'm not but, a fan. <laughs> no, <laughs> a I, lot I of people aren't a fan. But, like, for instance, like, it's just not it's not the same. Like, yeah. the wings that the food is, the, you know, all that. So that's one thing that I miss is, like, the homey feel. Um, I like that everybody is. Um, if you are one of those people that want to be, that are comfortable with being comfortable, yeah. I feel like that's the place to be. Like, if you don't want to step outside of any type of comfort, some, it depends on what you want to do. I'm not saying for everybody. But I have a lot of friends out there who are settled down. They have kids. They have, that's the place to be for that. And I think that, that you know, and I like that type of feel sometimes. Like, mm-hmm. out here, it's just, you're just not really going to get that. I, I totally really get like it. Them. At least, like, I think I think you kind of got a point though about it being like maybe because you're from the south. Because to me, like, 
uh, I've only been here two months, and like when I go to like you know my apartment or I'm like just driving around, mm-hmm. LA does kind of feel homey though. Right. And maybe it's because like growing up, we spent so much time here because my mom's side of the family's from Compton, and we would always be like down here whenever we can. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's that, but I do kind of have that like yeah, this is still like it's not you know where I grew up or home home, but it still has a feeling of like yeah, like I'm safe here. Like this is. Like, like out here, yeah. Like it's it's just a, a I, don't, I don't even know. It's just it's comfortable. Like I, I would use that word. Like it's, it's definitely like very comfortable. Like being yeah. Here. I mean, and especially for you. I mean, you're in a relationship. You live together. All that yeah. stuff. I'm pretty sure that's the, like a whole different feel. I'm like I have a lot of family out here too. Mm-hmm. So I tell people like I I cl- like I say you know that's home. That is home for me. But I mean this also is too because I've yeah. been back and forth my whole life. My dad is from here. I have a lot of family out here. All that type of stuff. Okay. So um. I don't know. It's 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 home in that sense because I have a lot of family here. Yeah. So when I was here, I was good. When I first moved here, I was good. Straight. Yeah. Was living with my grandma. <laughs> I was good. I was like, okay. So, I mean, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess. It depends. <laughs> I guess everybody might think differently. Yeah, that's funny, too, because I have a, uh, I have a, one of my uh, best friends. He, he moved from... So he's from Arkansas, went to mm-hmm. Tuskegee, and then he moved to California. Okay. So he got, like, kind of that experience. And his whole thing is... He likes California, but he would actually rather raise a family like in Arkansas where he could, you know, get land and, you know, have his kids like outside, like playing in the woods. Basically had the same childhood he had. Right. You know, so like California, like he likes it, but it's not it's like you say, it's not home for him. Like okay. He don't have that same like right. this is, you know, where I can like plant my roots yeah, kind of yeah. thing. And I know a lot of people that like the they want the country feel like they love all the trees Man, I can't and do it. all of that. I mean, I can. I always said that I did not want to. I said that I didn't really want my kids to be from L.A. Really? I, I really don't think I do. Um, I would definitely go back either to Georgia or I'm going to go back. To, or I'm going to go to, like, Texas or something like that. As far as, like, raising a family or if I do do all of that, maybe I got to go to Riverside. Just because I don't like all of the commotion. Like, I mean, I like it for myself, by yeah. myself, but, like, for it's just too much. Especially, I'm in South Central. I'm like, uh-uh, there's always something going on every day. I'm like, it's too much. Somebody always dying. Somebody is shot. You, you know what's funny? <laughs> I would, like... like not not that I would rather that, but I wouldn't mind it because it's like, okay, well, this, I, my whole thing about, like, when I think about, like, my future kids, I really mm-hmm. worry that it's like, I, I don't want them to be, I don't want to say soft, but I don't want them to be sensitive. Like, I want them yeah, to Yeah, you kinda, want them to kind of grow to have tough skin. Exactly. Like, kind of like we did, like, growing up. So, that, that So, you want me, them to be in the hood? No, 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 no. <laughs> but I want them to know it's around the corner. I right, want them right. to know, like, it exists. You know, because for me, like, well, of you course, know. Of course, of course. Like, I grew up in, like, kind of, like, uh, the suburbs, right? But every week, we was in church in Oakland. So, mm-hmm. and I'm talking every, like, like three days well, a week. of course. I mean. Y- so, it's like, you yeah. still, like, we knew what, what it was there, you know? So, I want them to still have that connection of, okay, m- my daddy and my mama got us, you know, living cool. But don't get it twisted. We miss a couple payments. We ride around the block with whoever else is there. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I, I don't know if it's a whole lot. I want them to be from L.A., but I definitely want them to know, like, okay, this is, it's real life going on out here, you know, like, I don't want them to be yeah. sheltered or be super sensitive, I, none of that. Well, no, of course. Of course not. Yeah. I just don't know. I mean, when you, I don't know, I guess living in it right now is like, eh. I barely want to live it. Well, I mean, and yeah. when I say L.A., I mean, like, the true L.A., not yeah, Hollywood yeah, yeah. and all yeah, of that type yeah, of stuff. I'm talking about, like, the true. You know, we know. Like, it's a little bit. Of, it's rough. Yeah. It's really rough. But I, I don't mean, know if I but like I said, but that's that's real life, though. You know, It like, is. It is real life. I mean, of course, I want my kids to know about that. But listen, if I got the funds and all of that, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that, my that kids might be too, bougie. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, nah, I my kids if, might if be If I got the bougie. funds, then, hey, we, we'll be wherever, <laughs> you know, it's safe. But if I ain't got it, like, hey, this is where we at. All right, well, we got to, we about to wrap this up. Okay, yeah, bet, 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 bet. Wow, thank you for letting me come. This was like, (laughs) like I told you, I've been excited for this like for five days in a row. Yeah, I know you. Like talking in front of a microphone in so long. Yeah. I was scratching my skin to really get like ready for this. That's good. (sighs) This is great. I feel like that's what it's for. That's why I want people to come on here and be able to like speak about stuff. Like, yeah. Probably had a whole bunch of stuff bottled up. People was like, oh, I just wait for people to just hear my thoughts on Uh this and all that, you know? And you feel so good afterwards. You just like, ah. Like it's yeah. just like a diary. Just yeah. like a diary. It's like when you take that what first shot of Henny at the bar and they, you know, play Mo Bamba next. You're like, oh yeah, I'm ready now. Like I can, I can take whatever the night brings. Yes. I so go ahead and plug yourself. Uh, I mean, like I said, I don't have no podcast, so this is great. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram <laughs> and on Twitter at DJ Broke Boy. That's D J B R O K E B O Y. Okay. 
and that's it. Cause I ain't got no <laughs> that's <yet>. it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Shout out to EJ. Yes, from yes, yes, yes. Just a dope ass podcast. I think that's the Instagram. Or a dope one. ass show. Dope ass yeah. show. One of those. I forgot which one. So sorry. Tune in on Saturday, and he'll what? let you know. I guess I'll be here on Saturday now. <laughs> Turn up. Right. I'm ready to have this a conversation. Are you, are you going to face to face? What is that? The the day party. No. Sunday. No. Why not? What's going on Sunday? You know Nipsey Hussle's thing is on Sunday, too. Really? I was thinking, yeah. his oh, okay. his um, Because I guess they're building, like, something yeah, they, for they, him. Yeah. It's going to be, like, they're going to turn it into, like, a, a center or something. Like, a shopping, not a shopping center, or apartment center, something like that. But, yeah. Yeah, they, they doing something though. over there. Yeah, oh, that's, okay. Uh, I believe it is. That's the date that I saw, I saw a little flyer or something like that. But okay. um, they definitely doing something down there. So I don't know if I'll probably, I'm probably going to go to that. I uh-huh. didn't go to his, um, when he died, I didn't, I couldn't, I could, I live literally down the street. Yeah. I could not step foot over there. I was like shaking yeah. and just, it was eerie. I had the first time I had, the first time after was probably like a couple of months after. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, this is still kind of eerie. It's weird. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. How right. <laughs> well, I'm sure you have a good weekend regardless. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure to be cool. I guess you're going to go. I don't know. Yeah, Let I'm me know the, the details of the. Yeah, no, I, I got you because I, I think, uh, I, I, we'll, we'll talk off air, but yeah, I think a couple people coming down for it so it should be cool okay so it's it called what cool. face to face face to face yeah and oh, if you uh if you're listening go ahead and go and get tickets the tickets only like ten dollars like oh come my through gosh. it'll be fun yes all right y'all well all thank right. you guys for tuning in yeah definitely i was kind of happy that nobody called <laughs> i was kind of nervous <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna try to come up oh, with man. some type of um, the, the saying with the questions no, but I mean, like this. I need like a saying to end it. You know what I'm saying? I need a like saying? A, like some type of saying that just fits me that just ends the podcast. I'll be like, bye. Like how I'm about <laughs> to do right now. I'll be like, okay, y'all. I'm gonna I'm talk to y'all later. Oh, but man. uh, yeah. All right. One time. <laughs> one time for DJ Broke yeah. Boy. Y'all take Tim it. in the building. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you guys for listening. Oh, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Brianna.B. And follow the podcast, um, the Queen Pen dot pod. You could do that. There we go. And uh, yeah, we out. All right, we out. <laughs> Later. Uh, oh, man. You can just bounce.